Hey, what's up guys? Daniel here in a tech studio, your one-stop shop for affordable tech. Sennheiser Active Noise Cancelling Earbuds. One of the most expensive true wireless earbuds that you can buy. Are they worth it? Let's get into it. So the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2, $300. Not affordable at all. <laughs> but they were recommended to me, so I wanna try them out. I was actually able to get this for $200. So, you know, there's there's that, like that helps. I mean, it, it does help, but also because these things are so expensive, I will be much more nitpicky. For $300, this thing better be perfect. Okay, so in it, we have seven hours of battery on a single charge and 21 more with the case, which is honestly not that great. That's pretty average. Active noise canceling, so noise canceling and ambient mode, which both work really well. USB-C, but no wireless charging. The Tozo T6 has wireless charging and it's 30 bucks. How can earbuds literally 10 times the price not have wireless charging? Come on. Sensors in the earbuds that pause the music when you take them out of your ears, which should be the standard in all earbuds, if to be real with you. The Sennheiser name, known for their studio grade, amazing sound quality. You have touch controls and an app that was actually quite a pain to get connected to. I don't know why. Here in the app, you can adjust your EQ, touch controls, your ANC, etc. As for the design, I really like it. It's got a very unique fabric unique fabric design. I don't know how well the fabric is gonna hold up over time, but it looks really cool. It's smaller than you think it's gonna be, even though inside is kind of feels like a waste of space between the earbuds. The buds themselves are decently sized, smaller than the XM4s, but still small enough where it's pretty comfy and it doesn't hurt. Okay, so the Sennheiser name is a prestigious name. Prestigious? Prestigious. Prestigious. Pres so the Sennheiser name is a prestigious name in the sound business. And these earbuds are fine. They're, pre they're pretty good. Pretty good. They're not tuned for my preference. And I can't adjust the EQ to find that preference either. If you're an audiophile, these things are extra spicy for you. I feel like these are the only earbuds that I can actually use for like studio referencing when I'm mixing the audio for these videos. Every track and every song is clear and crispy. Bass isn't overwhelming, which is a bit disappointing for me, but I don't think that's the point of these earbuds. I feel like their purpose is so that you can hear everything. They, they are simply just really good sound quality. Not really my sound quality. You know what I mean? The active noise canceling is honestly better than the Sony XM4s. The ambient mode is absolutely the best that I've ever used. With other earbuds, ambient mode, where it pipes in sound from around you, it works great when you're not listening to anything. But if you, once you start playing anything at all at any volume, then you can't hear the ambiance around you anymore. And it defeats the entire purpose of having ambient mode. With these, the ambient mode works linearly at all volumes, even at max volume, which this thing gets loud and you should definitely not do. <laughs> you hear just as much as you do while playing nothing. And that, that deserves I don't know, a cookie or something, I don't know. But, but, the app is pretty lacking to be honest. Like, check out this page, okay? It's beautiful. I wanna see the code and see how they actually did this. It looks fantastic. Not very useful. For every direction I go, it changes something on the other side too. Like, why? Why, why? Why, why do you think if I change this side, I want to change that side too? 
at least give me two dots to track if you're gonna do that. And then they have the custom EQ, which is literally just three toggles. Like, bro, what? <sighs> these $100 Sonys have better EQ management than these $300 earbuds. So that feels really weird coming from a brand so dedicated to sound quality. I don't know, maybe that's the point. Maybe it's like an amazing dish of spaghetti bolognese and you changing the EQ is like putting ketchup on it. You ruining it. I don't know, maybe that was their intention. Nah, <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. The big con, I never, I didn't mention yet, is this had a lot of connection issues. In the first day, multiple times, the left earbud wouldn't play music. It was connected, the controls on the earbud worked, it was on, but it just wouldn't play anything until I put them back in the case. Multiple times. And even on Zoom or on my computer, the connection will glitch out and stutter often enough for me to just stop using them completely. So that's really disappointing. It doesn't happen to my Sony's or my $20 J Labs. So why is it happening here? Not a good look for $300 earbuds. And yeah, I'm gonna keep mentioning that these are $300 because it's $300. They should be perfect. There are very few earbuds that are more expensive than this. And, and there's just so many things that you can buy with $300 instead of these tiny little earbuds. So factoring in these connection issues, it's really good sound quality and it's incredible ANC. And of course it's outrageous price. I'm giving this three out of five chilies, extra medium spicy. For you, it may be a four or a five out of five chilies. But for me personally, I can't find an EQ I actually like. And it's connection issues at this price knocks off two chilies for me. Anyways, that's all for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.